sand is pouring out of a pipe and is forming a cone on the ground. The radius of the pile is increasing at a rate of five feet per day. The height is always half the radius. When the pile is a radius of 13 feet, it asks for the volume in cubic feet as well as the rate of change of volume in cubic feet per day. Uh, write your answers as decimals rounded to two places. So there's a number of ways to approach this problem, but I think the easiest way, um, the first thing I did is I, I drew the cone just to visualize it. And um, really, you want to write down what you know and what you don't know in the problem. So we're given that the radius is 13 feet. Um, it says so right here. And we're also given that the radius is increasing at a rate of five feet per day. So that's a rate of change, which tells us it's the derivative with respect to time. So dr dt, we have five feet per day. Okay, so what are our unknowns? What are we looking to solve for? Well, it asks for volume, right, which is v. It asks for the rate of change of volume. There we have rate of change again, so it's another derivative with respect to time. So that's dv dt. Um, and another unknown that we might not really consider an unknown necessarily is our height. It doesn't outright give us a number for that. Um, so we have three unknowns, which means we're going to need at least three equations to solve for these unknowns. Um, it's always going to be the same number of unknowns as the number of equations. Okay, so we've got one equation right here. That is our volume of a cone. Uh, it's one third times pi r squared times the height. Um, and then we're also going to need a couple more equations. So what I'll do here is I'll write, um, if, if we notice in the middle of the problem, it tells us that the height is always half of the radius. So it actually gives us a relation be, because we know the radius. Um, we know the height is always going to be half of it. Um, so we can actually write the height as r over 2. And that's going to be our second equation. I'll just number these so that we know that there are equations. So the third equation uh, is where we do some calculus. And that's where we find dv dt. So to find dv dt, you got to remember the chain rule for derivatives. So that's actually going to be dv dr times dr dt. Okay, so we need to take this uh, volume equation and derive it with respect to r. And right now we have uh, volume. We can actually write the volume in terms of um, this r over 2 and sub substitute that in for the height. So it's going to be pi r squared times r over 2 and divide by 3. So that's going to give us a volume of pi r cubed over 6. All right, so now we have the volume only in terms of r. So there's just one more unknown. Um, so now we can do dv dt with respect to r. That's dv dr. So that is going to be 3 times pi r squared. Remember the way to do a derivative. Bring down the, the 3 and the exponent and then minus it by 1 over 6 which is going to turn into pi r squared over 2. Um, but don't forget, we also have the chain rule. So we also need to multiply. I'll circle it in a different color. We need to multiply by this dr dt. And remember, that's already a known. We're given that, it's, that the radius is changing at a rate of 5 feet per day. So we multiply by that dr dt function. That's what's going to give us our dv dt. So that's actually going to be our third equation. 
needed to solve this problem.